Hello everybody, welcome to Train Sim World 4. We are in, this is a uh, a stream, but it's slightly different uh, to what we're used to over here now. Although this was the kind of way we did streams for quite a while um, back on the channel. Um, but yeah, we're just jumping straight in. No messing about here, no no intro screens. We're going to just check out the route, see what it's all about. We're, gonna, we're doing uh, Barking Riverside to Gospel Oak on the new... Uh, London Overground DLC. It's all set up. We're all ready to go. Um, I did a slight, I did a little test run earlier just, just so I could make sure everything was working and the UI was how I wanted it to be because the UI is a little bit different from this and Train Simulator Classic. How you doing, everybody? We got uh, Dustin and Kona's in uh, Tottenschlag, Snowy, Kian, uh, Kona, Kales, my, uh, did I say micro? Victor, how you doing, everybody? Welcome in. We're going to get started here in just a second. Uh, yeah, so this, um, I do believe this is about 12 miles. It's going to take us about 40 to 45 minutes uh, from start to finish. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to look at any scenarios or whatever, but if you're here just to see the route from start to finish, this is good. Let's get started, shall we? Here we are. Okay, so we're going to need the master key in. Actually, we'll do, is it control that and then shift that for these devices there we go put the reverser in forward we got the uh aws AWS and aws operational fantastic okay there we go door release here we are we're going to try and get as many sort of shots oh look at this hang on let me let me do the let me do the horn beautiful this is brand new out just today I must say the trains look really good. They look very nice. How you doing, Jaden? How you doing, Army? Welcome in, everybody. So we need to wait uh, around a little bit until 1433. So far, this looks really nice. Like, visually. Looks stunning. Look at all the construction going on here. Fantastic. Oh, our doors are closing already. Okay. Okay, we still have another minute to wait, though. Uh, I guess we're just going to sit here now. I guess for timetabling. Interesting. So, yeah, we're in forwards. We're all ready and raring to go. So, we have... What is the current speed limit? It looks like 20 miles an hour. And then we go up to 40 very quickly. So we should be able to get moving. Like I said, this is going to take about 40 to 45 minutes uh, to uh, to do from start to finish. And I'm sure Kona there with the notepad is going to be taking down all of our uh, discrepancies in the routes. <laughs> yeah, it's a very appealing looking train, isn't it? Can, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, I guess we're all good on that. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's got a, um, it's got one of those swattles that is just all about, oh, here we go already. Beautiful. What a lovely station as well. Look at that. It's all glass and everything. It's got one of those swattles that increases, um, a little bit by bit and not just in different notches. Fantastic. We're off already. So yeah, I did do a poll on this on the channel um, just to see what everybody would prefer uh, for this kind of uh, content. And it was still uh, it was still a majority for streams, although there was quite a good amount of video um, video votes. So thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Bizzle. How you doing, RFS? Good to see you. I need to keep an eye on things, although I'll tell you what, this thing is fast. We are absolutely rapid on this train it's beautiful <laughs> but yeah this is very much like oh speeding already good start but it's, it's very much like one of my streams of old um so no no screens or music or anything like that we're just taking a a, a, a raw unedited look at the line from start to finish so hopefully you enjoy that yes okay Coda. we were speeding it a little bit I doing Sunday. 
we've had a better day than me. Well, my day's been all right. So um, if you've had a bad day, hopefully we can make it a little bit better by running this by running this route. So we have a 50 mile an hour speed up coming up in 600 yards. And we have Barking Platform 8 in about two miles. Look at us flying. We're not literally flying. We're on rails, but you know what I mean? Uh, Ghoul Gnome. Yeah, I just bought it myself earlier. It was very strange. Um, it was very strange... I wasn't on the store all the way up until release. I found that most strange. But anyway, it's released. It's out. We have it. We own it. We're on it. We're driving. Always love a stream. Streams are, streams are fun. Good for engagement. But I can't really engage too much with the chat here because I need to actually... Well, I can, but I need to look where I'm going. There's a lot of information in front of me that I need to stay on top of. For instance, the speed limit's coming up and the platform's... Uh, and any red lights that might show show up. Uh, so yeah, how you doing, Dylan? Hello, Crow. Welcome in, mate. So uh, yeah, we're going to. I forgot the name of the place already because I'm do not live in London. Goss G Gossip Oak, I think that's the name of it. Anyway, <laughs> I forgot the name of the DLC already. It's a suffragette line. It's these new names for these overground uh, lines. Oh, actually, we could be going a bit quicker. Tell you what, the acceleration on these Class 710s are... It's very impressive. Just vroom, we're off. You get whiplash operating one of these things. Bloody quick. So we're uh, coming up in a mile. We will be making our first stop. At Barking. Hopefully the audio is at a good level. Let me know how it is for you. Holding at about 50. And now I think what we should be doing is uh, hit, uh, slamming on them. Well, it's not slamming on the brakes, but gradually increasing the brakes uh, for about 600 yards out. I think that, that, that will probably get us a good... at a good, nice, slow, steady uh, introduction to the platform. So, coming up to it. Oh. I wasn't looking at that speed limit. Speed limits are going to be a little uh, difficult to keep track of because the UI for them isn't great. I will be honest. I much prefer the uh, the interface that I was using in the train simulator classic stream that I did recently. That is really good. Um, so I, so yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to for sure. Okay, let me actually turn the cab light on a little bit all the lights are on automatic as well nope we'll go coast down to the end this is the first station barking i'll be honest i don't know pretty much nothing about london i've been twice in my life despite actually living in the uk but i again the london's never really interested me that much I would assume this is fine. And it is. Beautiful. All right. Here we go. The trains are beautiful. Very nicely made. I must say the detail is really good. Even though it's only 12 miles, it does take 45 minutes. And uh, the detail is really, really nice. I think they are uh, taught and slacked. Yeah, I think they are related in a way. Right. Lock the doors. I'll tell you what, we'll do a departure from this view. Here we go. that speed oh the hell it's impressive okay so we got 30 mile an hour speed limit coming up in about a mile and a half and then we have woodgrange park in uh in a mile and a half as well no worries kia like i said i did warn on this stream that we were going to be starting very quickly with no stream screens or any intro, so it was very much like you had to be here 
right when we went live. This looks really good. The detail is very, very nice. Honestly, this train is so rapid. Oh, here we go. We got a friend. Um, the train is so rapid. It's just to anything else I've been driving recently. Although class 185 on train sim is pretty quick. This is like get up and go. I mean, it's not messing about. So again, 30 miles an hour speed limit. Uh, 0 0.8 miles to go until Woodgrange Park. You have Train Sim World 4 from the Xbox Game Pass. Oh, I didn't know it was on Game Pass. Yeah, it makes sense, uh, Torrance. Like, these are nice trains. I think they're related. Well, the, the, they're all related to that Class 700 train, I think, in a way. I think they're all within that. Uh, within that family. Yeah, it makes sense, though, Trill, that the shorter routes have, have more detail because you, you, you get to really put in the effort on the shorter routes. But yeah, this is uh, just out today. Strange release, I will say, because the the uh, the one so that so they're releasing another route next week. I thought they might have spread it out a bit more, but but they're releasing a whole a whole new route, Fife Circle Line, I believe, uh, it, uh, or in Scotland. So, but you can actually pre-purchase that one. You couldn't pre-purchase this one. No, what's going on with that, really? We'll try our very best to keep to the schedule, but I, I think we're probably going to drift a bit further back as we are a bit more cautious on this route because we've never driven this route before. We'll go for a bit of B2 there on the break. Maybe a bit of B3. There we go. Yeah, the five circle line is coming out. So I, I'll do the same thing if you like. It, I mean, it depends what we all like to see here because a lot of people voted for a video. So if you want to see me do the same thing that I'm doing now with the five circle line next week, we can do that. Or I can uh, do it in a video style. Totally up to you. Yeah, and don't forget to hit the like button. I appreciate that. But this stream will only last as long as this route takes, basically. So... It may only be 40, 45 minute stream. So, uh, yeah, it's a very, un very unusual for my channel. Just go in and out with a stream. But it's something I'm willing to try and see if it's uh, see if it's something people like to see. Instead of my streams lasting for hours and hours on end, why don't, why don't we go for, for shorter ones that are a bit more focused on one thing? Quite like the idea. How you doing, East Sussex? Welcome in, mate. Just taking a look at the uh, London Overground DLC that was released today. Speed limit coming up, 30 miles an hour. Tell you what, I am very hungry. I'm going to get something to eat after this. I've been looking forward to getting on the rails and really looking, giving this a good look. It's really nice looking. I will, I, this is really good. This is one of the most detailed routes I've actually seen in, in, in a train simulator so far anyway. What's BTP? I don't know what that is, mate. You'll have to let me know. The detail is good joke, isn't it? So we have another station coming up at 800 yards. I need to keep my wits about me because I might just blow by a station if I'm not careful. Actually, we'll coast a little bit to 500 yards, then we'll do a bit of B1. Yeah, there we go. That, this is this is this is good. Strawberry rails. No, not those ones. <laughs> Maybe I've done that a bit early because it's uphill. So the trains slow down a lot faster. Four streams in a row. I salute you. Thank you, mate. Salute you back for watching. Here we go. Probably don't want to go too hard on the braking. But again, I don't really know how these trains brake and how they operate. So it would take quite some time to get used to it and where you should be braking and all of that. Ooh. Door release. Let's have a look around. Whoa, look at this. It looks so good. 
The modeling is really nice. Look at this. Oh, how good does that look right there? Look at that. That is amazing. So are these doors... Oh, we have to actually wait. We actually we actually arrived a bit early. Fantastic. How's my frames doing? Uh, I, I do not know. Is there a, is, I know there's a shortcut button I can use for that. Let me know what it is and I'll hit it. But sil silky smooth though. It does have graffiti actually. Pretty sure I've seen on the screenshot. Right, lock the doors. All right, Laystone High Road. Again, if you live in the area, you're gonna you're gonna know this route. You don't know what these place names are, but I'm at the other end of the country. I don't know London very well at all. Look at this. Ooh, getting a bit misty, isn't it? So far, I'm impressed, I will say. Although it is quite expensive. But there is quite a bit of detail so far from what I've seen, and I'm willing to pay for detail. I am. I I, I can't stand half big routes that come out with no detail or substandard stuff. So I'll put some effort in and I'll and I'll happily pay your price. A British transport police? Well, I have know nothing about them. I know they just do they do train stations and airports and stuff, don't they? Why would I have an opinion on them? <laughs> you completed all five scenarios, says Herb. Good to see you, mate. I haven't seen you in a little bit. All right, we have a 40 mile an hour speed limit coming up very soon. We're already doing 42. LNER DLC? There is one. There is one. I now LNER is something I'm a bit, a bit more familiar with, since I've actually been on them in real life. From York, York to Newcastle, though, because I live around Newcastle area. So, okay. Oh, another train there at the station, Laystone High Road. Well, I, I, I mean, I must say East Sussex, I don't, I, I can't formulate too many opinions on something I have very rarely experienced. That was very nice. Getting pretty fog, isn't it? We started out, I like the dynamic weather. That's really good. Well, LNR got an actual driver to play. That's cool. I like that. I like how they, they uh, need to embrace the train simulator. This looks very nice. Everything about it is very high quality, in my opinion, so far. The weather took a turn, didn't it? If you like the way I'm doing this stream... Do hit the like button. So bang, straight into it. We'll stream for about 45 minutes and that's it done. So if you like that kind of thing, which I think is a really nice little efficient way of streaming, because you get to stream you get to stream specific things and you don't have to worry about how long the stream is. So we got another platform, another platform, another station coming up very soon. Thousand yards. Typical British weather. <laughs> Bit of fog. Looks more British now, I know. Actually, I think I've reckon slightly too early. Well, actually, no. No, we'll, we'll do a bit of B1. 
just gently arrive into the uh, station if we can. Although, although I think this is again too uh, breaking a bit too far back. No, there it is. I just couldn't see the platform for the damn fog. Glad it's not got the annoying announcement for each station. That would be so good though. That adds so much to it. I, I don't know why Train Sim World hasn't done any of that. Why don't we have announcements? Aerosoft did a um Aerosoft did Underground, London Underground, you could program announcements for, and that was so immersive. No announcements on this, it just feels like it's a bit quiet. We can listen to this though. Nice, so some announcements are in. I always welcome that. Walthamstow Queen's Road. What a name. I hate Quantum. You're actually uh, you're joining the British Transport, please. Well, there you go. Is it a full trip from London, Darlington, York, Newcastle, Edinburgh, Aberdeen? Are you talking about the DLC that's in this? I don't sound Geordie. Uh, no, I don't sound it, but I I very much am. I was uh, I was born in in in, uh, in around Newcastle. I've always spoke differently to my family. It's very strange. Parliamentarian, how you doing? So far, I'm really liking this. I love the detail everywhere. The five circle line will have announcements. Epic. All right, it has a thumbs up from me already. I'm going to bloody buy it as soon as this is done. <laughs> In that case. Now, the DLC is only, what, Peter Pritchard Doncaster, which is very disappointing. I want to see Newcastle. Why is Newcastle not in any of the train sim, uh, train sim world so far? Criminal. Okay, here we go. Approaching Walthamstow. Hey, Jaden, how you doing? He says you want to develop a core to do announcements. I don't get how they can do them for each train. But yeah, but each, yeah, but each real life train has announcements. So you just need to send people off to go and record it all or ask the company for the sound files and just do it. It's not that difficult, surely. Coming in just a little hot. Ooh, quite a shorter platform here, actually. Again, unfamiliar with how the train operates and how quickly it does actually stop. So I've been a little bit hesitant on the brakes here. Yeah, there we go. You finished the Trans Pennine route on Train Sim Classic? We absolutely do. If you want to see that as well, let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate that. Also, leaving comments and liking the video helps. And the stream helps get it out to uh, more eyes and ears. Away immediately. We're not messing around. Black Horse Road. Well, we're on the way. At least England gets included. Australia is never included in any game. Yeah, that's... It must be frustrating when, the game, when your country's not in any of these kind of things but yeah i mean train sim classic has so much dlc which is great but it also costs a fortune if you want to buy them all like in like the U even just uk ones get the tpe route finished i know i just need i need to work out how i'm going to get from york to leeds i have the routes for it i've got two options i think and then i need to decide which one i'm actually going to take from leeds to manchester because there's a there's a one done by DTG that I can use, or there's the Pennine Pacer one as well that I can also use. Whoop. Oh. 
Beautiful land DLC from Aberdeen to <laughs> Edinburgh, Newcastle, Darling. Yeah, that's nice. Way too much to ask. It's not really practical. Coming in again to Blank Holes Road. Oh, hopefully this fog clears up a bit with the dynamic weather we have. Paradigm Pacer. How do you know? Oh, Pacer. Because ca Cash loves Pacers. <laughs> I love Pacers too. But cash, cash is uh, particularly enthusiastic about Pacers. Another train here, parked up. It, it just looks great. Credit, credit to the uh, people who made the route. Oops, sorry, I'm too much, too busy looking at the damn scenery and not at my stop marker. Oh, we made it. Look at that, almost perfect to what the AI did. Have a look around a little bit if we can. They are so fast. That is unreal acceleration. I'm so impressed with it. Honestly, we're going to just roll out and then I'm going to punch it and see how fast we can actually, like, how quickly we can get moving. So here we go. I'm going to do. Let's do 40% throttle just so we get moving so we don't spin the wheels. And then we'll get up to about 5 miles an hour. So it'll be like a rolling start. Actually, we'll do 10 and then we'll rolling start. Okay. And punch it. Watch this. That is so fast acceleration. Oh my god. That is insane. No wonder we, when we were using the 710s in um, Transport Fever, I was I was complimenting their acceleration because they are ridiculous. Well, there's actually pacers in this game, Cash, so maybe I should do a video or a stream when I drive the pacer. Well, there's actually pacers in uh, Train Some Classic too. Uphill, it was uphill as well, says Joker. Bloody impressive. Oops. I didn't see that speed limit coming up. They're very stealthy, these speed limits. They just kind of pop up at you. That's the one thing I don't like about the UI. I don't really know what's coming up. Although I don't know why this is 20 miles an hour and then we have 45 in 60 yards. So that, I mean, that speed limit, you can just do one. <laughs> That's a typical train driver response to speed limits. Do one. It's my response to speed limits on the road anyway. No, I uh, uh, no, I am a law-abiding citizen. I don't breach any road, road rules. Right, so forty miles an hour and six hundred dollars. Might as well just meet that, uh, meet that speed now. Uh, quantum, no, no, I'm not. I haven't really been that interested in that stuff. I wish it wasn't as foggy, so we could have a look at the surroundings, but. Yeah, don't worry, Kona will write it down. The resident inspector. Yeah, Atro, you're probably right on that, but hey, just wanted to try it out. Whoa, look at that, freight train. Hey, it's EWS, I think. That's what it said on the sign. <laughs> it's their colours anyway. Look at all that. Oh, folks cleared up. Papagloid, look at that. We just we got some good brands on those on those containers. Oh wow, this looks so good. I keep saying that, but it really does. Okay, you got off the train the wrong way, ma'am. Don't do that again, please. This station operates a low smoking policy. This includes 
Jesus, e-cigarettes. Oh, fair enough. All right, out of here again. Uh, one thing I don't like about this game, there's no passenger view like you get in Train Sim Classic. At least I like going into a passenger view, watching the like, countryside or buildings fly by. Look at, look at us go. Speeding. <laughs> so there's some graffiti right there. Can't help but just punch it and just enjoy how fast this train is. I love it. Well, we'll have a speeding times four comment in a second here from Kona. Pacer only speed run on Trains of World's longest route. <laughs> that would be good. I mean, they can get up. I mean, they, they get they get up and going at uh, on um, seventy five miles an hour, bouncing along. How many pages does that notepad code have? <laughs> Must be endless. I <laughs> didn't calm. Again, I just want to get going. Why is why we only get thirty mile an hour speed over here? What's going on? Having the green lanes coming up. Yeah, do let me uh, know your thoughts of um, of this DLC. If you have anything, if you've been driving it, let me know what you think about it. Think about it in the uh, in the comments if you're watching as a VOD. Details really good. I'm really impressed with the detail. I will be honest, confused. If uh, the five circle line is as good as this, thumbs up. No, we're at five times speedy now. My apologies. Train's just too damn fast. We're very slow down here, aren't we? And I tell you what, a couple of weeks ago, I was tempted to do a Thameslink service with the, the Thameslink DLC thing, but I think I got a bit sidetracked, so it never actually happened. Which line is this? Uh, suffragette line, if you go and buy these new names for these trains. For these train lines. Or whatever it was called before, I have no idea. Ooh, slightly overshot, although no, not for the passengers, that's fine. Look at that. They've actually done so much like way off in the distance too. I love that. Very impressed. Exactly, King Goddess was so good. All right, Crouch Hill. Punch it again. Although we're only got another silly 30 mile an hour speed limit. This just just seems mental. Goblin line. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> the names are. <laughs> it was the goblin line. We're calling it that then, because that's what it was. That's, I've heard of that. It was a, it's the goblin line, parliamentarian. I, did, I just didn't know what it was called before. Now I know. So we'll use the old name. Don't know why it needed to be changed. The goblin, goblin everybody. Even I'd heard of the goblin line, and I knew nothing about London. Don't forget to say mind the gap. <laughs> I don't know if they actually play that on there. Is that just an underground thing or was that? A general TFL thing. I guess, you know, you're, you're, you're right with that, HL. Yeah, they, yeah but I don't think they had names, but hey ho, let's not delve into that conversation. Why is this only 
Why is this only 30? I mean, we're coming up to a 55 in, uh, in a mile. So I guess there's that. Been on the five circle line hundreds of times. Such a nice train journey. Well, we'll experience that next week. So in whatever form you would like to see it in, where, where the, if you like this kind of thing, where I do it in a really quick stream, in a 45 minute stream or so, and we just experience it, we just go along together. Um, or if I do it in a video, because we had a vote obviously earlier about that. I wonder if we're going to have an AWS uh, warning come up. All the stations are very well made, I will say. They look so good. I mean, I am coming from Train Sim Classic where everything looks very dated because it is a very old game. This looks just so good. F3? Uh, I'm running 100 frames, I suppose. That's what it says on the right there. If you can see that, 100 frames per second. We'll do another... Uh, we'll do another off-the-train uh, departure. Look at that. And immediately back to 30 miles an hour. <laughs> what do you think about the elevators? What? Leave Alta? I, I don't know what you mean. What are you talking about? Which elevators? Kale bot slacking. Classic. So we got Upper Holloway coming up. Well, hopefully we can get back up to speed here, because this 30 miles an hour has been killing us. Do hit that like button on your way in. I like seeing this, uh, these kind of streams. These, this is the way I used to stream before. I didn't have any stream screens or music going on, really. I just got, got into the game, did what I did, and then that was it. So it was much nicer to watch as a VOD. As a working elevator, there's a radiator. That's cool. Maybe, hopefully, at the terminating uh, station, we'll have... There'll be one there, so... We can maybe use it at the end, provided it doesn't just kick us out. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've actually got an amber signal coming up. DGG, we're focusing on the elevators way too much in the preview streams. <laughs> and whatnot, the actual route. Oh, I did not see this one coming. Oh, it doesn't have elevators? No. Oh. My broke way too hard here. Oh, is that an old signal box? Look at that. All right. Here we are. You can actually get up and out of your seat and walk around, unlike Chainsaw some Classic as well in this, too. Look around the station just a little bit. That's a pole. We don't have enough time to spend at these stations, but we got to get out of here again. Oops, wrong one. All right, off we go again. I don't know how close we're getting to... Oh, no, Gospel Oak is the next one. Oh, my God. Goodness, this is quick. Since you're on a stream high score here, Uncharted tomorrow. Well, if you want to see Uncharted, let me know. Oh, we can get up a speed here. Punch it.
Ospolok is the next stop. AWS, reset. I know, it's 40 minutes already. That's madness. Oh. Again, speed limit's creeping up on you. Speed and powers is Luke. Wait, we're coming up to the end of the route already. It's not a long route, but it, man, it's detailed. Look at this. It's so, it looks amazing. One of the best lucky routes I've seen. I, I will say. It's kind of coasting in. And we are like so far ahead of schedule. We've done really well here. See you later, Alan. Thanks for joining us. And now people are joining right at the very end. Hey, oh, how you doing, Jules? You should have a uh, feature where they tie Tamsin in distress on the tracks. Yeah, like an old western. Here we go. There it is up ahead. Hey, doing Ronald, you've caught us right at the very end here, mate. At the end here, we'll get out and have a look around Gospel Oak. You're catching the next one, uh, Alan. And if you're not subscribed, by the way, we do lots of different content. A lot of trains on the channel as well. That's what you are interested in. I can get up. There we go. Look at that. That was it. That was it. I know, although we haven't looked at any of the scenarios yet. But I can do more videos or uh, streams on those. Don't flat, don't pop up with an ending screen. A mission end screen. I want to have a look around. It's going to as soon as that thing that's going around the, with the low passengers. Yeah, there it is. Hang on. It should let me... Yep, yeah, there we go. That's fine. There we go. We were early. Look at that. Oh, look at people just chilling. Look at this. Local stop spot. Oh. Uh, am I not in control of that train anymore? Is that gonna... Is that gonna actually just drive off without us? Is that... A, is this... Is, it, is there a driver up here? No, there isn't. It's just going to sit there. See, so yeah, that was gospel out. So yeah, there's a link to... If you want to go and buy this, there's a link to it. In the description. Ooh. Okay, this is really nice. Oh, can I go down here? Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't, what is going on down here? Okay, they've went way above and beyond. <laughs> this is men. Wait, whoa! There, there's an elevator. Doors closing. <laughs> no way! What? That is so f***ing cool, man. That just blew my mind right there. I've never seen anything like that in a train simulator before. <laughs> It's so cool. Oh, I'd buy it just for that. That was, that was great. I walked five miles. That's the hell. Bit Stratford. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's train coming. Hang on. Let's let's see this off first. Yeah, that, that was... I didn't expect that, Ghoul Gnome, to be honest. That is so good. What are you? Class 66? Yep, yeah, class 66 EWS. Look at that. Off he goes. I don't know what you're hauling. Can't see inside.
And uh, you'll know me if you've watched my Transport Fever stuff. I like detail. So. Such an uplifting moment. Right, Kales? There you go. I don't know what this guy's hauling. Anyway, that's a really nice uh, little moment to end there. So, uh, let's go back down one more time before we end. Doors closing. <laughs> I love it. That is so good. I can't like leave, can I? Okay, there's something going on here. The text stream. Oh, I oh, know that. Was that just lighting? Yeah, okay. Oh, well, there's a. Okay. Come on. Well, anyway, on that note, I'm going to go. Hang on. I'm going to go the, up in the lift one more time before we end. <laughs> God help us. Doors closing. Again, again. It's like a ride. Elevator simulator. Heck yeah. Well, there you go. That's going to end it right there. So yeah, the uh, if you want to buy this, the link's in the description on Steam. Uh, I, I, I think it's on other things as well, but you can look it up. I'm sure you can. Yeah, please leave a like. Really uh, enjoyed this. Nice short stream today. Just checking this new, this new route out. And I have to say, I really like it. Really good job. Really, really good job. But yeah, until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.